The Batman is a movie that I have very conflicting feelings about. One day I enjoy it, another day I find it difficult to get through. Any review that I were to make, I'd probably disagree with the morning after. Luckily, this video is not a review of The Batman. It is, however, a harsh condemnation that exposes Hollywood's devious marketing tactics. This video is a review of one of the Batman's early trailers, which has some very suspicious editing that left me totally off guard. Uh, this is not how this was supposed to go. I understand that there was previously some controversy over the Batman's trailers and Bruce Wayne's voice being different during the interrogation scene, but that is not what I want to talk about today. Today, I wanted to point out the odd and misleading structure of the movie's The Bat and the Cat trailer. There's something very fishy in this scene, something that I haven't heard anyone else really mention, so I've contemplated talking about it for fear that it's all in my head. The moment in question is this audio from the trailer. This is how it sounds unedited. You're part of this too. Hands up! Stay still! How am I part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Bruce Way. Now, let's take a minute and break down what we just heard. Presumably, we are listening in on a conversation between our main protagonist, Batman, and his main adversary, Riddler. Riddler claims that Batman is a part of this, a part of the political and social war in Gotham. Batman disputes that he is not part of this. And then Riddler accuses Batman of being a little dum-dum, before then saying the name I want to reinforce the fact that Riddler said, you are not as smart as I thought you were, period, Bruce Wayne. Which pretty clearly makes it sound like Riddler is referring to Batman as Bruce Wayne. You hear that too, don't you? I I'm not crazy, right? So anyway, I watched this trailer about a month before the movie came out, and I was anticipating this scene because I've never known of a Batman villain who knew his true identity, so I was wondering what they were going to do with that. But then I saw the movie, and let's just say I left the theater that day wildly confused and perplexed, and puzzled, and dare I say, a little riddled. I'm sitting and watching this interrogation scene, and it gets to the part where Riddler is repeatedly saying, Bruce Wayne, at Batman. And Batman is nervous because he's worried that Riddler will expose his dark secret, and I'm on the edge of my seat. But then, Riddler does something I didn't expect. He says this line. He's the only one we didn't get. In the context of the scene, Riddler is revealing how he strategically manipulated Batman's actions to expose all of the corrupt forces in Gotham's system. In Riddler's head, Batman and him are working together, and the only person they failed to take down was Bruce Wayne, which we see earlier in the movie when Riddler mails a bomb to Bruce Wayne's house and blows up Gollum. But wait. Doesn't Riddler know that Bruce Wayne is the Batman? Why did he try to blow him up? Actually, look at the way Batman reacts to hearing this line. He seems relieved, as if he knows now that his true identity is a secret still. So, what is going on? What happened here is a classic example of an Orwellian dystopia. Riddler does not know Batman's true identity, and the part where he is repeatedly saying Bruce Wayne's name while completely out of place is just a clever way of building tension because the audience and the main character share the fear of being exposed. But in the trailer, the line is cut to sound abundantly clear that Riddler knows that Batman is Bruce Wayne. This is what left me so confused all the way until the movie ended. I had watched this trailer weeks in advance and entered the theater with the preconceived notion that was misguided and mistruthful. The trailer makers, and the Warner Brothers executives who okayed the trailer, were intentionally misleading fans like me, and for what reason? To put more butts in seats, that's why. Who cares if the movie makes no sense in the context of the information distributed by the marketing campaign, or if that information impairs the viewer to accurately understand the plot of the film? That doesn't matter because they've already paid the price of admission. In fact, if it's confusing enough, Maybe they'll come back and watch it in the theaters a second time to try and figure out what's going on. Which I did. And so guess what, Warner Brothers? I'm exposing you and your shady business tactics. Because I can't have been the only one that fell for this, right? Bruce. 
Bruce Wayne. So anyways, thanks for watching. I know this video was a bit on the shorter side, but it's just something that I've been thinking about for a while now, and I wanted to get it off my chest. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything like this that you've experienced. Maybe this movie trailer tricked you too, or another movie trailer pulled something similar, because we can't let these movie executives keep getting away with this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.